YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video, guys. Actually alive. And guys, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. This is cutting edge content. And today's video, guys, is gonna be on five wide receivers that's gonna boom their ADP. And I don't care where their ADP is at, guys. These guys are gonna boom their ADP. So even if you're taking some of these guys in the third or second or fourth round, they still gonna boom that ADP, even though their ADP is up kind of early, right? So let's begin, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Guys, the first wide receiver that I want to talk about is the guy that you see in the thumbnail, and it's Amara St. Brown. Now listen, Amara St. Brown ADP is like pick 13, pick 14, pick 15. He's going at the 2-2, two, 2-3, two, 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 And guys, he's going to boom that ADP. Amara St. Brown is going to probably, guys, end up being a top five wide receiver. I actually think he has a chance to be the number one wide receiver in the game. And I know that sounds crazy. You might say, well, TD over Justin Jefferson? Over Jamar Chase? Over Cooper Cup? Yes, over Garrett Wilson? Over D Hop? All of them, guys. And the reason why Jamison Williams is suspended the first six games of the season. So if Jamison Williams is suspended the first six weeks of the season, guys, who are they going to target? You think Jameer Gibbs is going to get? 85 targets or 105 targets, that doesn't matter. They still have to give Amara a lot of targets because there's no wide receivers on these teams that have experience. Quentin Cephas, no. Khalif Raymond, no. Those guys are going to be targeted, but they're not going to be hyper-targeted like uh, Amara St. Brown. And with Amara St. Brown mentality, again, this is esoteric. This is no analytical breakdown. I'm not going to give you no A dot. I'm not going to give you no um, how many yards he's separating. I'm giving you off his mentality, guys. This year in camp, he's killing. Ben Johnson wants to get hyper target this guy. This guy is going to be a smash play. He's going to get over 180 targets if he stays healthy. Last year, Justin Jefferson had 180 targets. Amara is going to have 180 targets. Him and Jared Goff has a great chemistry. You saw that last year. So, guys, I'm not worried about... Amara, somebody coming in, taking his target. Sam Laporta, Jameer Gibbs. Jameer Gibbs is going to be a solid player, but he's not going to get hyper-targeted over Amara St. Brown to hurt Amara value to be actually to actually be the number one wide receiver in fantasy football. So I'm not saying I'm going to put $500 that Amara is going to be the number one wide receiver, but if he is, I won't be surprised. Top five wide receiver, I'm putting $100 on that. Top five wide receiver, I'm putting $100 on that. I love Amara as my number one wide receiver coming off the board, guys. Okay, let's move on to my number two guy. Yes, guys, my number two guy. I said what I said. It's Brandon Ayuk. Yes, guys, Brandon Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk is going to ball out this year. Now, listen, I'm a hybrid guy. I love Debo Samuels. Debo Samuels is a beast. He should have got his money. But this year, the game plan has switched up. Debo's going to get his targets, but they're going to push the ball downfield. I still believe Trey Lance is going to be the quarterback then. I told y'all that, and y'all didn't like that video. You didn't put no thumbs up on that video. You thought I was talking crap. Ah, T, come on now. Trey Lance, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy, Purdy. Okay? Okay, I want you to keep that same engine. Again, guys, don't take it personal that, listen, we all can, um, you know, we can agree to disagree. I'm not getting mad or anything. I could be wrong. But I'm, I'm using my assessment, using my background for what I did last year, what I've done in fantasy, I think Trey Lance is going to be the starter. And by Trey Lance being the starter, they're going to push the ball downfield, and that's going to open it up for IU. IU running comebacks, deep crossers, uh, 15, 20-yard in routes. So this is the next level for this offense. If not... The teams are going to move the safety down in the box and smother this team. So they got to be able to push the ball downfield. But they're not going to start Trey Lance if he can't prove that in camp. So I believe I got trust in Trey Lance um, pushing the ball downfield and evolving his game in the preseason and in camp. That's why I believe in Brandon Ayuk. And even if Brock Purdy does start, I know I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's impossible for him to start because Brock Purdy is a good quarterback. I still think Brandon Ayuk will be fine. Brandon Ayuk is killing in, in, killing in the camp. He's the best route runner on his team. 
Brandon Ayuk is one of the best route runners in the NFL. I said what I said. He's one of the best in, uh, route runners in the NFL. And his ADP, guys, is like fourth and fifth round. He's going to smash that. And guys, listen, I'm going to get to everybody's question. But I'm going to do my breakdown first, and then I'm going to read everybody's question out. So, guys, just be patient. I appreciate everybody being here. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. This is Cutting Edge content. So, guys, yeah, so Brandon Ayuk is one of the best route runners. And his next phase of this office is to push the ball downfield. Brandon Ayuk and PFF is one of the best route runners in the league. He's a top five route runner if you go look at PFF. All right, so let's move on, guys. The next guy that receiver that I believe is going to boom his ADP is going to be Christian Watson. Yes, guys, Christian Watson. And the reason why I believe that Christian Watson is going to boom his ADP, guys, is because he's going in like the fourth round, third, fourth round. And he's a deep target. He's a big play guy. So these big play guys get they they don't gotta have a lot of targets. They just need one big play a game, and that automatically gives them like 12 or 13 points. A 60-yard touchdown, 12 or 13 points from that, depending on your league format. But I believe Crystal Watson will be top three in big plays in the NFL this year. So I believe that uh Tyreek Hill will be be on this list. Christian Watson, and maybe even next would probably be Jalen Waddle. So it'd be two guys on the same team. But I believe Ty, uh, that Christian Watson is going to be doing, like having a lot of big plays with like in the rounds, uh, gadget plays, running the ball. That's what Christian Watson does. Don't look at his receiving stat or his receiving skill set or his ADOT and stuff like this. Ah, oh, this guy ain't going to get enough targets to be a good wide receiver. It doesn't matter. Guys that are that make big plays, you have to put them on a different metric because if you just look at targets, you're going you're not gonna be able to pick that boom up. That's why nobody was on Christian Watson like I was last year. All right, man, he's not George Pickens. He don't get a lot of targets. He not this guy. They they not gonna target him enough. He can't catch. And then this guy end up being one of the best breakout uh second half young rookie wide receivers. I think he's better than Gary Wilson. Yes, he's I think he's better than Gary Wilson. I think he's better than Christian Lava. The reason why, big plays. These guys got to get, what, 10 targets to be a top five, top 12 wide receiver? Crystal Watson need three catches a game, and he could be that. One in-the-round touchdown, one deep play, bam. So, guys, I love Crystal Watson. Make sure you pick him up. He's going to boom his ADP. He has a chance to be a top 12 wide receiver easy, even top five. So, moving on, guys. The next guy that I believe is going to be have a breakout season, guys, is... Jahan Dotson. Yes, guys, Jahan Dotson. The reason why I believe Jahan Dotson is going to boom his ADP, guys, his ADP right now is like round six. Like round six. But I believe that he's a better athlete and a better, I want to say a better wide receiver because Terry McClellan is really good, but I believe Jahan Dotson is a better value, and I think he's going to have more explosive plays than Terry McClellan. I said what I said. Sorry, guys. Okay. Yes. So the reason why, another reason why I'm targeting John Dotson, if you go to PFF and look at his uh, ADOT and also his catch radius going down the field, you would think he was like a D-hop type of guy. This guy has really good catch radius to be a smaller guy, and they target this guy around the red zone because he got a really good separation on PFF. Like, he can separate, from, and he's tough at the line of scrimmage. Like, you think you will bump this guy and knock him off his route? Really, when you can't, he's very strong to be his size. If you go back to Penn State, he was a great downfield target, too. So, with Washington last year, he led this team in receiving touchdowns, and it was seven. You would think Terry McLaurin didn't never miss a game. Jahan Dawson missed, like, four games, and he still led this team in receiving touchdowns. The reason why is because of what I'm saying right now. So, guys, make sure you target Jahan Dotson. Guys, you can get this guy in every single draft. And the reason why is because his ADP is so late. Nobody, you ain't really, you just, you know, you can't, like, wait too long. But going in the fifth or sixth round, you can get him. And I think he can, has a chance to be a top 12 wide receiver. Easily top 24. Easily top 24. All right, guys, let's move forward. 
The last but not least wide receiver that I think has a chance to boom his ADP, and this guy has a really nice ADP, like five, four is, is high up there, but I still think he's going to boom it, is Devontae Smith. Yes, guys, Devontae Smith. And the reason why that I love Devontae Smith, guys, is because I think he's going to be a better wide receiver than A.J. Brown on his team, and his route running is better than A.J. Brown. Now, is he a better athlete than A.J. Brown? No. A.J. Brown is 220 to 230 pounds, runs a 4-4, and can run you over and also can jump ball you. But Devontae Smith is the guy that runs all the underneath routes that's going to get more targets to keep the defense honest. So I love Devontae Smith this year. Guys, and his ADP is going after A.J. Brown. I always tell you to fade A.J. Brown and get Devontae Smith. A A Devontae Smith is the guy that I'm targeting on this offense first. For now, if it's super flex, I'm going Jalen Hurts, then Devontae Smith. I'm probably fading A.J. Brown the most draft this year. Now, if you got him in Dynasty, I don't think you have to trade him. But if you could trade him to go get Devontae Smith and get a second round pick with that or even a first round pick, I'm going to do that. I'm not saying A.J. Brown going to suck. I just like the value of Devontae Smith where you can you get him probably a top 10, top 12 wide receiver after A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown's going in the first round, late first round, early second round. So, guys, make sure you pick them up. All right, guys, so let me get to the questions. Let me get to the questions. What's going on, TNT? TNT says, he says, do you think, he says, do you think that Amon Ra will, hold on, guys, for a second. He says, do you think that Amon Ra will slide to the later rounds? No. I think his value is only going to get better as the season goes on. So when season get ready to start, I think Amara could be going in the first round, the late first round, over some guys, like especially over A.J. Brown. That's what I believe. Uh, Lindell, what's up, bro, bro? He says, facts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Lindell Morgan says, I'm drafting Ayuk everywhere. I watched an interview. Uh, he did. Ayuk said out of his mouth i'm i'm about to take off yep he is and uh lindell also says i'm a rock people better not sleep i've been watching this dude in camp oh my god dude is unreal yes sir yes sir that's why i said he could be the number one wide receiver this year no doubt and nifty what's up bro bro hey i appreciate you uh subscribing to the only fans bro bro i got you whatever you need bro bro I just, I'm just not getting off the work. So if you need rankers, I got you. Guys, make sure you sign up for the OnlyFans or become a member of the channel. Guys, if you want to compete against me in my listener leagues, I got a free league, guys. All I need you to do is join um, the Pro Bowl. I think it's the Pro Bowl tier. And if you pr join the Pro Bowl tier, guys, you don't got no entry fee. I'm going to provide a prize for first place. So make sure you sign up and join as a member. And you can play against me and listen to these guys. And you can prove that you might be better than me in fantasy, right? Also, guys, if you want to get shout outs, sign up for the OnlyFans or the Pro Bowl tier. And uh, Nifty says, we going heal over Cup after his hamstring injury. I agree, 100%. I agree with that. That injury, you got to be cautious of it. Yes, sir, Nifty. Yes, sir. Yep. So guys, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to try to do another video or maybe another live before the game starts tonight. I might break the game down for some of the rookies that I want to talk about and also do a video on something else too. So I might collide two, two uh, topics into one. So guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is Cutting Edge Content. Peace. Hold on. Nifty says, is the league for OnlyFans too? Yes. You can join the league, bruh, bruh. If you want OnlyFans, you can join the league. Yes, sir. That's what they're... You can either OnlyFans or the Pro Bowl tier. Also, guys, you can join the Rookie tier. The Rookie tier gets you um, membership where you get where you can only... Um, I'm going to do lives and you'll be invited and you're the only ones that can speak and ask questions. And that'll probably be on Saturdays. I'll probably do that live on Saturdays during the season. All right, guys, y'all be safe. Peace.